All right, guys, so this is my first run on my Traxxas Max. This is brand new out of the box, completely stock. Wow. Yeah, that thing is just nasty. Let's see what we can do. Um, so my understanding is this has a x-max uh size steering servo in it which is pretty cool but uh from what i remember correctly the, the x-max steering servo really isn't all that great but i'm hoping in a 10th scale like this it should do pretty good that noise you're hearing that's the stock traxxas crappy wheelie bar uh, i've never really been a fan of traxxas wheelie bars this is full speed booking it So you know what I think we're gonna do? I think we're gonna jump this uh, over here. Why not? I think we can get a. Oh, let's see how. Look at that, sweet. So this looks like this will be our fun today. Is jumping this little thing here. This side you can kind of jump. You gotta go slow. Just a wheelie monster, as most of these 4S vehicles are. My Proline uh, that I had was like that too. Um, I'm wishing now that I bought this thing, I still had the Proline. We're gonna book it. We're gonna hit this thing. We're gonna see what we can do. Ooh, nasty. Okay, so now I think you hit the set button. There we go. So now it's gonna self right itself, hopefully. Look at that, awesome. Don't even have to go over to it. So uh, that, that one didn't go as well as I was hoping, um, as you've seen. Um, but God, I gotta say guys, this thing's pretty fucking sweet. Uh, this body's gonna be ground to nothing in no time. Let's hit this one more time, see. I gotta say, I'm, this truck's pretty cool. Um, I haven't even drove it in the dirt yet, and I'm already loving it. If you guys know me, I'm not one to really go to too much, uh, like, uh, street. Oh, that ice ball is falling off. Look at that. there so let's self write it we gotta test this feature this thing's new if the tires rip i'm gonna call tracks tell me hey, send me some new tires your self reach writing feature sucks um but hopefully we don't have problems with it it's kind of a cool feature to actually have if your car gets like far away um and you can't get to it let's uh hit this side one more time I gotta say guys, I'm pretty geeked out on this thing so far. Um, when we get done running this today on this uh, on the cement, I'm gonna show you all the damage it's taken and uh, if it's broken or what's broken, if nothing is broken, then cool. Um, I don't know what that noise is. Sounds like someone's running something. Full speed. Oh, doing some dance moves. And uh, guys, if I'm being completely honest with you, I know I posted a video of this back in the back when it first came out, and I was so excited, and I was gonna buy one right away, and I ended up not buying one. Um, and the reason I didn't end up buying one is because of the price point of this truck, guys. This truck is $529. That's just ridiculous. Um, I had the extra money laying around. I was at my local hobby shop, I seen it, I was looking at it, I said, you know what, it's about time I just bite the fucking dick or whatever, and uh, buy it. Because I really did want one, but that 529 price point Traxxas is just, if Traxxas, someone from Traxxas is watching this, that's just, that's just hard to eat. Um, I hate to say it, but this is a plastic tub chassis truck. Nothing really too exciting about that. Um, yeah, it's cool, it looks like the X-Max, and that's probably why they think they can charge with the charging. 
but really it's that's it's such a ridiculous price for this truck being you can buy a 1a scale 6s e revo for 579 um and have a lot more truck than you're getting with this thing and don't get me wrong uh this truck's cool it's great so far but i mean it's just it's crazy if you go to a hobby shop you see this thing sitting on the shelf and you see the e revo sitting on the shelf and you're someone that's new to rc and you see this thing's 529 and the other one's 579 you're probably gonna go with the other one um there goes the body again it's all right it's pretty cool actually guys There we go, there's a big jump for you guys. Ah. As long as I get it backed up to there, I can just grab it over the top. Ooh, that was a close one. Look at that crap, guys. That's sweet. That is just ridiculous. So see, now this is where this will come in handy and this would be cool. It's a little ways away, probably 50 yards, I'd say. Maybe not 50 yards, maybe like 40 or 30, but you know, now I have to walk over there and grab it. It's just gonna flip itself over. We're gonna be ready to go again. See how far back I can get on this damn jump. See how high I can get this thing pitched. Ooh, that was could have been nasty. Turned out okay though. Still going, guys. Oh, this is ridiculous. This thing's sweet so far. I don't want to run into the school fucking doors or anything. We're gonna come back here. I'm gonna launch this thing. Oh. So now we're on snow. Let's see if it'll self right on snow. I don't think it will. Yeah, it's stuck. Maybe, well, let's see. Yeah, it's stuck. A lot of wind today. I'm sorry, it's really windy out. If you look up there at that flag, you can see. Um, I'm trying to keep you guys away from the wind, but it's hard when I'm walking. And... So if you're hearing a lot of wind with this, I'm sorry. We're gonna try hitting this thing again. There you go. Ooh, I almost broadsided that pole. Thank God that snow was there. So let's see here. Ah. Um, you know, I always come out here and run. I've never really been bothered here before. The only thing that kind of blows is in the summer, you'll have little kids around and. Um, they'll be asking you to drive your stuff and stuff, but that's fine. I mean, if I got a small RC, you know, or something, I'll let them drive it. But when you can bring stuff out like this, you don't want people that have never drove RCs to be driving them. I mean, even if, uh, even adults, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, especially, you know, when their parents aren't going to pay for it if they break it on a truck like this, that's 500 bucks or even a Traxxas X-Max, you know. It's like 500. Coming? Come on. So guys, if you're watching my video today, keep in mind this thing does not do good in snow. Um, and it actually did land that over there and drove to over here, but it gets in the deeper snow and I think it just starts collecting on it. Um, over here it did okay, as you can see. But yeah, over there it's not having a good day. Um, so let's go to a. Uh... So far, guys, this thing's holding up. I'm pretty stoked about this truck. Pretty sweet. I know there's a lot of Traxxas haters out there, honestly. Um, it's ridiculous how many there are. I mean, but that goes for all brands. Oh.
Um, it goes for all brands when it comes to the RC community. There's haters for everything. Um, you gotta pick your battles. Uh, Trex isn't usually my go-to brand. But man, if this truck keeps performing, this is probably gonna turn into my go-to truck. Um, right now, my go-to truck is my Harma Mojave. I know before I said Harma's a junk, and the Creighton really put that perspective in my. Well, I was just doing all that talking and getting none of it on. I was doing like five minutes of talking. I didn't realize I didn't turn the camera back on. Which is something that sucks about having a camera on your forehead is sometimes you forget to turn it on. So we're gonna hit one more big jump. Then we're gonna come over and do some speed runs. Ooh, owie. It's taking it though, guys. I'm really impressed. I'm just gonna walk over, it's only five feet. It's the thing RC companies are making people too lazy with things. ABC, telemetry. All that crap. Um, it's just nuts all the technology they have nowadays for these things. It's like everything though, it's just, it's getting ridiculous. Um, that's all stuff is nowadays, is technology. I wish they didn't, I kind of wish they didn't have this uh, little thing here for the school buses, this uh, walkway. It'd be nice if it was just a straight through flags. You'd really be able to get hauling up there. I'm kind of trying to keep it out of the snow now, guys, so I'm trying to dry it off a little bit. I think this might be my last battery pack I have with me. I think I only brought two, um, but I don't recall. But that other battery died pretty quick, so I don't, maybe there's something going on with that battery. I'll have to check it out when I get home on my charger. Guys, I'm sorry about that wind if it's driving you crazy. If you got earbuds on, I'm so sorry. Oh, there's some water. Something I don't like doing. So, uh, you know what I am gonna do? Because I think people want to know is will this thing go through the snow pretty well? Um, so that snow over there is pretty beat down as you can see. This snow over here is like uh, flat. Um, and it's like 43, 45 degrees today. So, uh, I mean, snow is going to be a little hard pack, I guess you could say, because it's melting. We're going to come over here. I see a little, uh, a little jump here. We're going to see if we can get some traction in the snow see what we can do nope okay it just sunk right down maybe if we keep it going quick enough we can get through it but I doubt it it's a pretty low truck for being a monster truck honestly well, I just covered myself in snow as you can see but yeah still same thing so let's come out here that's fine, we don't need to be in the snow anyways. Ah! Well, oh, that's rocks, I don't want to kick those out all over. That's what wrecks after people. Start coming to these places and you're kicking the rocks out all over and realize there's rocks in here. Guys, I'm sorry about that wind. It's terrible today. This thing is just a wheelie monster. You can ride wheelies on this thing forever. Here, look at this. By the time we're done here, I'm gonna be running to the hobby shop, grab a new damn body, God. Oh great, here comes fucking some dickhead. I've never been told to get out of here, so we'll see. That'll be interesting. Two minutes ago. I think people are just being nosy. Just wondering what I'm doing over here. Understandable, you know. Especially there's a lot of houses around here guys if you look. So I don't blame them if they're coming over here and checking on me, seeing what the hell I'm doing here, you know. How it happens. Here. 
That noise you guys are hearing too, by the way, that like really gross, like plastic noise, that's a wheelie bar on this thing, hitting the, hitting the cement, the asphalt. Man, what's this guy fucking doing? Just trying to get in the damn way. I'm gonna fight. I just like, oh, we're here. Just letting you know. Good for you. Fuck. We'll see about that mini T. Um, but yeah, my OC tenacities I had and stuff. That was like one of their worst aspirations or worst things about them is they didn't like to stay run cool. They like to run hot. They had re-gear and everything else. But this thing I'm pretty impressed with so far. I gotta give it credit where credit's due. I mean, you know. So if you're watching this video right now and you don't have the Max and you're thinking about getting the Max, I suggest just go buy a Max. Um, I hate to say it, it's so expensive, but it's been pretty fun today. So, I mean, I've had fun with it. So why not buy a Max, you know? So that was weird. That time it didn't flip back over. God, the car is really starting to creep me out. I wonder if they call the cops on me or waiting for the cops to get here or something. Instead of approaching me. I'm gonna laugh if they did because I believe this is public domain. I don't think there's really much they can do. I'm not really damaging anything. Um, so. So, you know. Kind of a neat little jump there too. Look at that. Look at all the things you find at school parking lots. flip back over here that time I kind of screwed up and uh, I think this side okay that side is so that's hard enough snow we can drive on it let's see here Oh, yeah, that fan's getting noisy in there, of course. Maybe it was just getting warm and that was the fan running. I don't know. Maybe the ESC fan doesn't run all the time. Maybe it's a heat trigger thing, but it just, uh, oh, look at that sun. It's been so long since I've seen the sun here in Minnesota. That is beautiful. It's early, it's early too in the morning, guys. It's like fucking 9 a.m., 10 a.m. I think right now, something like that. Uh, yeah, I think he was just teaching his wife how to drive, guys. Oh, right, one more time. So now, where that wheelie bar is, it's hard to flip over with your foot from the front side. Drive it back over to the car, swap out the battery. Yeah, I don't know why it just stopped working the last time. Maybe it got hot or something, I don't know. But it, like, it, this is like LVC now, where it slows down. I mean, look how much, that's full throttle, you know, it's slowed down, that's LVC. But before it just totally stopped working, so I don't know, maybe I hit something or something in the ESC function. Um, 
So we'll see. I'm going to throw the next battery in. I think I've got one more 4S and one more 3S, but I think I'm just going to run the last 4S and be done with today. Uh, for right now, I'm going to get some food and uh, wash my car and stuff. And then you guys will probably see this video uploaded in a little bit. Um, so if you guys are enjoying my videos, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to do a uh, giveaway soon. Um, not sure what kind of giveaway I'm going to do. It probably won't be nothing too expandable or anything. Um, you know, I'm just starting out. I got a whole lot of money to throw around. Like, I ain't got the money to go through buy someone a Max or anything. I'm gonna do one more part. Ah, this is so fun, guys. I love this little uh, snowbank they got here. Even just a little bit. So I didn't do it yet. Um, but I would think that. Uh, this attracts this truck, so I'm guessing a lot of uh, aftermarket manufacturers are going to be coming out with other parts for this thing. And I'm guessing a big part of that would be a wheelie bar, like a T-Bone Racing wheelie bar. Which, uh, not denying, will probably be like that the same way, where it'll get in the way in the back. But I really like T-Bone parts. I've always had T-Bone parts on all my stuff. No issues with them, uh, except for the one uh, front bumper I put on my X-Max. I did break contacted t-bone they sent me out a new one right away and that was partially my fault um because of uh because i uh tightened the screw down too much on it that was like one of the first bumpers i ever bought i wasn't realizing what i was doing but yeah you know, plastic you gotta treat plastic different um Turn multifunction all the way up. So you can see, not really much difference, honestly, um, with that. But uh, So, there's that noise again, guys. It is this motor fan, okay. I don't know why it's doing that. That's gonna drive me, that's gonna drive me freaking nuts. Okay, so we're gonna turn it off. Um, so as you guys can see, um, that was my truck Max. That was my first run, uh, my first three battery packs, actually. Um, on street, or cement, or asphalt, or whatever you wanna call it. I believe this is asphalt actually, but uh, so three battery packs. So here's the body. As you can see, I mean, it's got some damage already, of course, but on the asphalt and street, that's gonna happen. There's the top roll bar, here's the back of the body. This uh, plate here is actually broken, wore off already. The body's smashed in the back there. There's some holes by where the shocks go, shock towers. Um, Here's the back of the body all smashed down. And yeah, that's expected. It's an RC truck, you know. They get beat up, especially stock crappy bodies. Uh, I'm not saying it's a crappy body, but stock plastic bodies are pretty thin. Um, here is the rest of the Traxxas Max. Um, if you look, see the bottom's got some scrapes already. The front of the scrape, that's from the jumping up onto the side here. That kind of sucks. I'll just clean that off. I'm going to get that off. Um, probably will come right off actually. Yeah, it looks like it's coming right off. So, not a big deal. Just a uh, little orange chalk. Uh, my trunk's a mess, I know. But, I mean, otherwise, not too bad. The front bumper's beat up, of course. The back bumper's probably beat up. The wheelie bar and wheels are already all scraped up and crappy. But otherwise, guys, it's still together. It's still running after three battery packs. You see what I was doing? I was jumping it. I was bashing over there into the snow. I tried driving in the snow over there. I was driving through water. It's still together. It's still running. Um, the fans making some noise, it's not a big deal. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this truck from Traxxas. Um, Traxxas doesn't make the most beefiest stuff besides the X-Max. The X-Max is probably the only truck that I will ever say I would take anywhere I go, anywhere I'm going to a bash event or anything, that'll come with me. Um, this one will probably be one that'll come with me now. So that's just, that's my opinion, guys. 
Um, if you watch this video, you don't have a Traxxas Max yet, go buy one. I'm gonna do more testing with this truck. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this truck. Um, even after being on asphalt today, uh, the tires are still holding up pretty good. They actually do feel a lot weaker than when they were new though, of course, because the foam breaking out. Not a big deal. Probably throw some aftermarkets on it anyways. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, for this video. Um, there's gonna be a giveaway coming soon. I just don't know how soon. Uh, so like and subscribe guys. Thank you.